Welcome to This is ECP. I'm an artist here in Sonoma County, California, in the city of Santa Rosa. This is the painting In the Moment Vocals. It is part of a series of music related paintings. And what we have here is the beginning stages of how I make my art. What I'm making here is the canvas for the new painting in the moment. You may ask why I'm making this canvas instead of buying one. The reason being it's far cheaper I get to control variables much easier and honestly I think the canvases kind of like this that you get at the art supply store are kind of substandard um, it's masonite uh, faces so if they get wet um, over a period of time they can start swelling and kind of destroy the piece of artwork um, what I have here is a piece that's made from plywood and one by fours. So I can actually control the quality of this build. Here you can see the plywood. This is actually subfloor for putting flooring in in a house. It's an absolutely amazing product that you can get at like a Home Depot or Lowe's or any um, uh, home supply um, store. I'm here stapling the face to the two or one by fours. I'm flipping this over to finish the skeleton in the back. If you don't know, I'm an actual sign maker, so I have all these tools that are make my job pretty easy. And it's kind of fun doing this. And at the end, I can actually know that the quality of this is to my standards. There is some drawbacks to this. There are, you know, the staple holes you have to patch. Um, sometimes the, the one by fours are not perfectly straight. There's maybe a knot that you gotta fill. But honestly, that's a small price to pay for something that's gonna be so much better and will last so much longer for my, for my clients. Here I'm just uh, measuring out where the center spines are and stapling them in. I also glued the face so, with um, Type Bond 3, which is a waterproof uh, glue. So it's no water is going to affect it. And here I'm patching up all the all the holes that the staple gun uh, produced. And using uh, standard caulking, Alex caulking, to uh, fill little voids and try to smooth out the sides. I don't put it in this, but I use Bondo on certain parts of this to get a really hard edge and a nice smooth finish on certain parts of it that were having some issues. A lot of artists use gesso on a lot of my stuff. You know, I honestly never touch gesso. It's really expensive. Um, Kills uh, primer is fantastic. It, um, it it has calcium in it, so it does promote acid reduction. 
and it lasts for 20 to 40 years exterior so it's a, it's a really good product so this is going to be interior so this is going to last, indef last indefinitely we're just finishing up the the primer and the last scene is going to be me doing a last little sand to make it nice and smooth for uh, the, the spray paint that's going to be going on this. Here's the sanding process. Well, if you do like what you see and you want to see some more, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. And please check out our second video coming soon. Thanks for watching and take care.